Hi, Margaret. So glad you could join me tonight. Sorry, I'm crashing around here, trying to get organized. What's the weather like where you are? Thanks for sharing, Margaret. Hi, Sharon, how are you going? So I'm just going to wait for a couple more to, or will we? Right, by the time we um, wait for everybody, it just gets a bit late. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'd like to get going. Now, I've had this stamp set for quite a while. And um, what made me get going with it was um, I did a little challenge a few weeks ago to, to, on my group or on my um, demonstrator um, face up Facebook page to say to people the challenge is to use something, a stamp set that hasn't seen ink or that you haven't used for a while. Well, when I went through my catalogue, I thought, hmm, there's quite a few that fit that category. So I must get out my stamps and get using them. Now this is watercolour paper. Now this little set um, is in the annual catalogue. Just going to when I get set up, just make, I think I'm in the right spot. Tell me if I'm not. Got my little notes there. No one else there yet. So it's this set. And I watched a few videos and scrolled the internet for a few ideas. And there was a few things I didn't realise. So it can be used. It's quite a versatile little set. I'm just going to show you some of the ways it can be used. So this is Memento. You don't need to use, you don't use Memento for water colouring, of course. Um, just want to do, so you can either use it like that. I'm just going to clean that off because I want to use some stays on with it next. So you can use it with Memento or any other inks and then you can, um, where are we? Then you can fill it in. As I've told you guys before, not very good with, that's the wrong one not very good with two-step stamping which is what this is so if I didn't have such a long sheet of paper that would help um, I think that's up the wrong way anyone got this set so I think if I yeah if I line that up there as I said this isn't my Forte, but you'll get mm, here we go that's better you'll get the idea so just clean that off as well I don't think I need that again but um, and then we'll take our old olive just cleaning my fingers and we've got the stems to do like this, again, um, lining up isn't what I'm good at. Yeah, completely missed the leaves. And then you can just use, which is my favorite thing to do, I've decided, or my, probably, probably not my favorite, um, I do like water colouring and that's the other thing you can do and you can of course colour with your blends but if you colour with your blends you're not going to get the watercolour look which is this is a distinctive stamp which I probably knew but I'd forgotten just got to make sure it's up the right way this one's got a long stem one's got a short stem uh, and I've missed there again too, but but you can see those two ways, 
and then well, I won't show the watercoloring just now because that's what I'm going to do for my first card. Well, we might get so far with my first card. So you can do, you can um, use the outline, you can fill that in, do a better job than me. And then, and you can just use the, and I love that effect. That's, that's easy. I love easy stamping. So I love that effect. Um, and why did I use watercolor paper? I'm not sure. So, I might do the little piece for just checking which way this goes. For my card, then I'll show you how how this card goes together. It's a little bit different to a normal card. Now hopefully that's dry. Now hopefully you can see me in the right spot. Ah, oh, yes, freezing, isn't it, Jacqueline? Good day for crafting, which would you believe I've used, I've, um, apart from having a little visitor this morning, that's what I've been doing all day. Just looking because my other one I didn't. Ooh, this is going to fit. It might just fit. I do sometimes struggle with stays on. Oh, that's not too bad. Just going to clean that, but it won't be clean properly. I have to get the stays on off. You can use stays on cleaner if you're careful. Um, now, to watercolour. Oh, now what I forgot, I had some mango melon. Which I will use that first. And I christened my new watercolour pencils last night. to this oh, seems to be all right I couldn't see anything yeah and I really quite like them let's make sure I've got a bit coming out here not too much just I just like to use it you can use your reinkers but I like to use it Use them on the block. Use the, does that make sense? Use the, like just, it's just easier. And I think you waste less. I know you've got to then re-ink. It might seem like I'm defeating the purpose, but that just, just for me anyway, you can do it however you like. I just feel that you don't always need even a drop of the re-inker. Not that I'm trying to be mingy or anything, but I just think this is easier for me. So I'm clean that off. I don't know if I've got water coming through there, really. I don't want a heap. I do want a bit. Just filled it up, so maybe I made it too full. I don't know. Anyway, that's clean that off there in case I make a mess. And while that's drying a little bit, just going to do the, <laughs> not with the whole lot of the ink, no. Just gonna, I've got way too much grain there. And we normally go off on our bit of scrap paper don't we so then just not too sure whether that's a bud or a that a that bit's a bit of leaf I think Oh, 
I don't know if I've ever done any watercolouring live, have I? Just going to refer to my other watercoloured one, which I'll show you later. To get my colours right. I wasn't sure whether this bit, it's a bit tricky, this bit. To know whether it's meant to be green or... This will just give the um, mango mango melody, is what it's called, a little bit of a chance to dry before I go in with the blackberry bliss. Just reminds me of the lilies in my garden and my mum's garden. The nice, you know, the dark purple ones with the kind of yellow centres. I don't have any irises at the moment I, they grew too quick and I got rid of them I got sick of trying to keep them under control thinning them out and whatever and I might need that green later so I'll save that there I might actually do a little bit of stamping I might do my greeting I can do that without sticking my hand in it while I'm watercolouring let's see wishing you all the best and this comes from the same the same stamp set um, don't need much very blissy but do I? that'll be heaps anybody hi Leanne hello Rhonda Hello Maxine, hello Jacqueline, I've said hello to Joslard. Hi, thanks for joining everyone. A bit too cold to be, uh, Melbourne people can't go anywhere anyway, can you, really? We can, but um, it's a bit limited, so sort of easier to stay home, really, and have to book into a hotel to you know, allowed to have five people or something or ten people or whatever it is anyway we're getting there getting towards the end I think it's always hard for me to remember to leave a little bit of white space I'm not the best at watercoloring this isn't a <laughs> this isn't a lesson on watercoloring because I pretty much suck at it. I'll just do the best I can. Whoops, have I missed a bit of yellow there? Yeah, I have. That bit there should be a bit yellow. I think I have to go back. I've wiped all my yellow off, haven't I? As you can tell, the... Um... Yeah, I've got a bit of yellow in mine. The colour, as most of you know, I think most of you are demonstrators that are watching, um, <clears throat> it always goes, watercolouring, it always makes it a little bit lighter, doesn't it? Anybody buy any stamps in the sale? Oh, I was rather naughty. Probably shouldn't have, but there was one or two that I had my eye on anyway, so I thought I may as well. And a couple of my customers wanted some too, so that was good. They had also had their eye on a couple, one or two. this card 
um, construction done. While we wait for this to dry. Now it looks like that should have, I did a better job of my other one. I didn't have any trouble seeing where to go. I seem to be having trouble knowing where to go tonight. <coughs> I do struggle with trying to leave it, um, where was that yellow bit? Have I gone over that now? We might, we might pretend that it wasn't yellow. I think that's good enough. And then we'll just go in, put a few spotty bits here. A few darker bits. him a bit darker. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is use, I haven't used my new one for that. What have I got in there? Let's do it with this one. It's a, uh, don't know because that's a thick one. It's this one here. No. Might have to do it with my new one. I don't know how that'll how well that'll work. Um, and I need a, sticky note. Just wanna do some splashes, but I don't wanna, some spatters, but I don't wanna get it, probably shouldn't have done that, cause that's wet. Okay, it'll be fine. Squeeze a bit more water in there and um, hopefully not get it everywhere where it's not meant to be. I always do too much, so that might be enough of that. And we'll do a bit of green down the other end. And I've got Blackberry Bliss in my lid. Which you will have, but um, just got a bit more control doing it this way. That's gone up the other end. So let's just do that and just put a little bit of green down there. I'll have to wash out my lid once I'm done. Of. And I'm not getting it. Going everywhere but. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that looks all right. I'll leave that like that. As long as I don't lose my lid, I'll remember I'll clean off my brush. I might clean off these ones as well. I think I need them again. So I don't stick my fingers in them and make a mess everywhere. Now we'll get our clean my hands as well and get our card done. So, I'm just going to pop that where, pop it out of the way, that out of the way, and pop that out of the way, everything out of the way. I just want that so that it's not going to get messed up. Now, the pieces for this card, maybe I'll put it all together and then I'll show you because... 
then you'll know where I'm going with it. So we want the, have I written down, the five and a quarter, this piece here is five and a quarter by five and a half. So what's that there? So that's the five and a quarter piece. So we want to score, is that right? If that's right or not, where's my ruler? I was checking myself. I want it's five and a half that way. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm right. When it's a close measurement, I'm always checking myself. So could see that before couldn't you so pop that up there so I've moved that over to the one inch there and I'm going to score that this was a fold I found on YouTube by Christy Falk and it's really quite just something a little bit different and I thought it was quite cute I just want to make sure that I've done that the right way, otherwise we'll be cutting more cardstock, won't we? Yeah, that's what you do. Then you... Yeah, that's right. Might look a bit funny, but this is how it's constructed. So, I'm just going to grab some stronger adhesive. Christy didn't use... This we didn't have it then. I think she she did her this piece. So this piece here is five and a half by five and a quarter, and you score with the five and a quarter side to the top of your trimmer. This piece here is four inches by four inches, and I was going to make it a bit more. Um, what's right? What's the right word? Um, Having trouble seeing that on that more so that you could um, I'll show you in a minute what I mean it's really hard to explain so I just want to make sure that's lined up in the center which on this dark blackberry bliss is really hard to see I think that's good don't put your adhesive on the top bit because you might see what I'm trying to explain in my silly way is that I was going to make it a bit you know a bit um, wider here but I think why Christy's done at the four is because four and a quarter would be it'd be in your crease it wouldn't it wouldn't sit down properly and if you went a silly measurement it's just a bit hard to remember four by four is easier to remember okay that's why I've done that now, what have I done with my ribbons? I know I've got them here. I'm going to open a new roll of this beautiful polka dot ribbon. It's got the sticky still on it. I find my little handy dandy little tweezers. I like to use my ribbon off the roll and then I find I don't waste as much and you could if you were being really particular and worried about the the um, the piece on the underside showing you could make sure your ribbon covered it Mine on my first sample didn't quite. I think I've probably got too much there. I don't want to be wasting it, do I? Put it down a bit. You kind of get to know how just how much you need to tie a bow.
straighten it down a bit. And this is really stretchy, this ribbon, so you can pull it really tight. not cooperating very well is it we'll get there I like to sometimes put my fingers inside these ones that don't don't want to cooperate if I take that off maybe that'll help hopefully I don't want you as fat you silly bow. That's going to have to do because we haven't got all night to straighten ribbons out, have we? Um, chop that off there. So, and then when you take it off the roll, that's all I've wasted there of the ribbon. Oh, I didn't get myself a bin. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. But back there, I'll be looking for that later and I won't be able to find it. You probably do a better job of your ribbon too on trying to go fast. And see what I mean? You can probably, I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually move your ribbon down there so you can't see where that join is. Okay, so then our sentiment just goes there I'm just going to pop that on with snail you've already got your mat there I thought this was just such a quick easy card we'll probably do this for a class one day my class ladies yes the blackberry is really hard to um I've got that crooked it's really hard to see. Chose a difficult colour to use. I love it, but I'm finding it probably because it's night time. And I haven't actually done it in this colour. I did one in Gorgeous Grape, which I'll show you shortly. Um, now, where's my other bit? So then these go either side here. And I might use some multi-purpose in here so that I can wiggle it around if I need to. Let's check on the back. Make sure I've got it straight before it sticks down. Usually sticks before I know I've got it straight. That's better. Has anyone done a card like this? Yep, that looks pretty good. And then that just goes, I don't usually use this, do I? The inside. That just goes in here and you've actually got your inside decorated as well as your outside. And it's all done. There we go. Well, apart from, we probably need a bit of bling, don't we? I have been using, where are they? We might be able to find them now. These beautiful, I want to show you if I'm hiding on me now. 
could use them earlier today. Um, where have you gone? I can use anything really. I might use, actually, because I've used old olive, I might use up some of these. These aren't current. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. But you've got to use what you've got. So because I can't find, I'll show you the other card and I'll tell you what, what I was looking for. Um, these are the peacock ones, whatever they're called from from um, last year. And I've still got some, so been using them up. Same thing as using your rhinestone, so it's not really using stuff that you can't access because you can. You can get them and colour them with your blends. Um, and on the that's on the. Envelope, where's my go? We'll just do one of the other ones, which was like this. Whoops, I didn't use my mat. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Excuse me. I think that's the right way up. So. so there we go. There's our first card done. Just make sure those hands are clean before I touch anything. It just is so cute. Thanks, Pauline. How are you? And how are you, Rita? Hello, Diane, how are you? Yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. I'll show you the gorgeous grape one that I did as well. This one's not watercolor. This was done in um, gorgeous grape and just used the, the stamps, not the without the outline which is probably my favorite way to do it although i did enjoy watercoloring that one for you so i'll pop them over there i do have another one that i want to show you and we use a fair bit of stuff can i call it stuff a fair few, <coughs> fair few ingredients for a simple card, shall I say. So firstly, I want to do some die cutting with these gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Come here. Ornate ornate something we've got lots of ornate things <laughs> um those were just bits extra that i cut out now what's this for that's for that one and that's for this one now normally you stamp before you cut out and yeah if that's what you want to do that's okay but i'm not going to do that with this card um and you'll see why Well, bit, whoops, we're all done with those. Do my die cutting and I want to do some embossing as well. So because I'm, if you can see that, you don't probably really, really need to see it anyway, do you? You've all, you've all used a big shot. I'll be able to move over here a bit though. Rhonda gave me a good tip. It was her that visited me this morning to pick up her pack, her kit for tomorrow's class. I think any of my class girls are watching tonight. 
was going to say, if you see me messing around on our class um, group, it'll be to see whether I can go live in it. Because remember I tried to give you instructions for something for the, the Christmas class and it wouldn't let me go live. So I'm hoping it's just a Facebook glitch. Otherwise, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll do something, but I'm not sure just what yet. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be all fixed. That die just leaves a lot of little, little bits and pieces everywhere. So that's okay. We can easily clean them up. And I've if you probably noticed I've gone on the angle, making sure there's no little pink bits there. To hopefully um, stop so much of a crash. I've got pink bits on here and I don't want anything on there because that's where I'm going to stamp. So I've just, I don't know if you can see that. I've just gone like that. Now, Rhonda's little tip, because the, the new stamp and emboss machine is a little wider than our big shot, I was having trouble, I was saying to Rhonda this morning, at, at moving, and she said she puts it in where it grabs and grabs hold of it like that so it can't move. It's just, um, and I'm thinking it's probably a good thing that Stampin' Up! have done um, making it a little bit, having a little bit of leeway because when I was using some of the newer embossing folders, I was kind of thinking, see how easy that comes out? I was kind of thinking, well, it's just as well it has got that little bit of room because then if you happen to have it um, poking out a bit, it's not going to wreck the outside of your embossing folders like my Christmas one, that my... Um, evergreen forest one I've, um, it hasn't hasn't um, damaged the performance at all but it has wrecked the outside of it a bit a couple of mine are like that and they happen to be my favourites too and that's all come out and there's nothing hardly anything left in the die I won't bore you with doing that now. I'll put that away. So I want to just do some embossing first. So I want to make sure. Got all those little white pieces off before I go to emboss. Oh, and I just spotted that there. The paper that I used for the my card I just did is this one here, which most of my ladies got the paper share, so you've all got that one in the old olive, and I thought that was a perfect choice for the inside of the card. And something stuck out so the end off the glue. I don't want these things to go everywhere. I'm going to do these before I jumped on, and then. But no, I think sometimes you need to see just how easily things cut. Sometimes we think, oh, I wonder if the die comes out. I wonder if it works properly. We can see it works fine. I just want to make sure I've got all the little bits off there. If I go to stamp on them and I'll have a bump underneath there. Won't have a, that's the lid off the glue that can stay there because it's being a pain. Now, this is my card front. Whoops. What did I do with the embossing folders? Here we go. Um, just got to choose. Which one did I use on that one? I want to use a different one. These little small ones. Now, Rhonda and I also discussed how deceiving the platform of the new die cutting machine is because it says on here do not use with embossing folders well excuse me for little thin ones like this and there are some other ones like the new um, 
snowflake one that aren't 3D, you do actually, well, this is the way I've used it anyway. If anyone's got any better ideas, I'd be happy for you to let me know. Because I was cursing it last night, so I thought, now I need something. Do I need two, please? And I was driving me nuts because I had tried to use it with this sandwich and I didn't think it was going to go through. But anyway, this is so, I've got the, I've got the, um, I've got that a bit crooked too, I think. So I've got, what I used there was I've got the base plate, which is number one, I used number two, then I had my bossing folder in my cardstock and then I had the grey or you could use your blue plate number four had that on top okay so that's what I used so isn't that pretty I mean you could use one that had the embossing all over it but I just like the the flexibility of just using, I'm just going to get rid of this because I think I'm done with that. Here I am. And the glue was stuck to my foot. It's really being a pain tonight. So I put that out the road, didn't I? got a bit more room now I've got rid of Mr Big Shot so now this is going here but I need ribbon on there I'm to use up some of this ribbon I think I'll, I think I'll use this stronger glue And not sure how I did this. We will find out. Flip it over and see. Where's my. What is this? I didn't really want any of the better to do it from this side. I think I had a couple of goes last night when I was doing it. Um, I do want it to go right down to the end though. And I do want just, come on, a little bit of it showing. Which I haven't got there. Sorry, this is fiddly. Maybe we'll go in the, in the crumb cake part. And we'll see that. I don't think that'll matter. Sometimes I'm too fussy. Let's chop that off. on there. We could actually probably put that on, couldn't I? Yeah. And I just used a bit of multi-purpose. This is another quite quick card and I'll show you some of the other ones that weren't quite quick. Got it kind of centered, and yeah, it's tone on tone, but um, just all came together and I liked it, so I went with it. Okay, 
Now I need to bring in my paper says and the little carnation thingy. I like to do my stem first. And I'm just looking at my other one to see how I angled that. Which I might start with the bottom one. Sorry, I'm going to start with my little bank stamp, which I had just down here. Just fit in. That was an afterthought on my first card, because but because I know that I'm doing it tonight, I'm going to leave that over there where I'm not touching it. But that because I'm inclined to go into the wrong inks all the time. I have too many open. That over there so I don't do that. Come this far, we don't want to wreck it now, do we? Make sure that's... Hmm, maybe I angled it maybe a bit too far, I'm not sure. Let's have a go. Oh, that's pretty good. Get rid of that one. Bring this one back. And have this one. He can come down here a bit. And then the top of him can go here. Beautiful little carnation. And he can go on here with some multi-purpose glue as well. Don't need to be making your cards too thick to go in the mail and having to pay extra postage. You can use, of course, use dimensionals if you prefer. Just centre that. And how gorgeous is that? We need some little um, gems on there. Just want to quickly do the inside envelope. With just one little carnation. I love carnations too. I've never actually been clever enough to grow them, but mum used to grow really pretty ones and they're beautiful perfume. In fact, a friend of mum's, when she comes to visit mum in the home, she often goes to Safeway and grabs some. Um, carnations from Safeway, she says they last, and they do, they do last a fair while too. You can see how quick this is, even with all the die cutting, really quick. Just going to clean those later, but we'll do that later, that's fine. Now I just want to pop that in there. Grab our gems. Always so quick to do a card that you've already thought out. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how long it took me to come up with this, <laughs> with this card. It certainly wasn't how it started off to be. <laughs> okay, now I want to find those little gems I was telling you about. I don't even know what they're called, but they're really pretty you can actually have a look at this one because i've got them on there i thought i might use the white ones on this card so that's my blue one seaside spray and when i find these little devils here they are i'll just see what the because i've nearly used all the clear ones Let's see what the white ones are going to look like I'll take that out of the envelope, I must have. Yeah, I don't know what the white ones all look like, seeing as I've nearly used all the clear ones. Have a look. Let's see. I think I'm going to like them too. Gorgeous. Really pretty.
They are called Elegant Faceted Gems. And you'll have to agree, they are elegant, aren't they? So this was another little quick one. That only took 20 minutes. It actually took longer to do the watercolouring one than it did to do that one. And I have some more samples to show you. This one also turned out not, not how it was um, started out to be. And um, there's a little mistake that's covered by the bow, but we won't talk about that. And again on Blackberry Bliss, which, well, yeah, I thought it was quite dark. That's why it needed the, this is brass here, because I didn't have any gold open. Oh, I couldn't find it, so I had brass open. So that's what I used. And then what do we have? Then we have quite a few using the other little, all of these um, stamps come out of the same set. So this was case from, I've written them all down. Liz, I'm not quite sure how you say that. You will, is it? Y-U-I-L-L-E. She used a strip across and I was going to put some of our navy ribbon there and had the ribbon the bow tied, put it there, and I thought, oh no, perhaps it might look better with the gems. These are retired, but they were on the clearance rack not so long ago. Oh, I've missed the centre of that one too. Um, yeah, so you just put a strip of paper across there and just, and of course, as I said before, this didn't start off like this. I, um, like I said before, I keep going into the wrong inks, so which I did here, and then I quite liked that. So that's what I did. I, this is navy, and I'd gone into the seaside spray, and I thought, oh, okay, or vice versa. It must have been the other way around because I didn't have a, I didn't have a navy image on my seaside spray. So just thought that was, it was quite quick to do. And this one, I cased this one from Jamie Magrish, where she's done, she's done hers in lovely lipstick because it was quite some time ago, and she's done half a sheet. Well, I did a full sheet. So emboss resist means I've stamped and embossed all of the. Oh, actually, I've forgotten to wipe the wipe the ink off. What I didn't do. Goodness, trying to get all these samples done, and I didn't do that. Uh, and you usually wipe the ink off when you're done, which I didn't do, and none of it's coming off. There's only one little area I was, wasn't happy with that purple dob there. It just, if you get the ink off there, it just makes the embossing more visible. So, and I love that. This, this one uses our new pink one. Um, you know the one I mean, and the name escapes me. That one. <laughs> and Gorgeous Grape. I just love how that turned out. I'm not sure what other colours um, Jamie used, but I know she used lovely lipstick. I'm not sure what other, I couldn't remember. And this one, I started off watercolouring this piece, and I stupidly cut it in half. I was going to put an embossed white piece, and I was going to have two cards, and... I didn't like that, so I've used again. I've used the ornate frames, and I didn't have enough of the other half, so I've just done a little one like that. And use the these are all using the small little embossing folders. I have not used them enough, so they've had a run today. I can tell you. And lastly. I had this brainwave. I'd seen other people have cut these ones out, these little flowers. They weren't my favourite, but I just I do love that in, um, emboss resist one, and I love the watercoloured one. So it depends what you do with them. I had this brainwave that I would use the swirly frames and use those, not, not thinking that I'd have to cut out the leaves, which I haven't, because that's why I did the swirly frame circle in there, because I was too lazy to die cut and then cut all the flowers out. But I thought, well, that's just a nice, quick, easy card and looks like my pearls have come off in the bag. We'll have to remedy that.
Okay, so I'll just bring back the cards we've done tonight. I'll flip that over so there's no mess, as you can see. So there's that one. And that one was the other one. And then we had the gorgeous grape and the seaside spray. I don't think I can pick a favourite. I like them all. These ones don't sit down, but that's okay. You want them to sit on your mantle like that, don't you? Sharon loves the blue one. <laughs> blue, uh, Margaret does too. Blue is your favourite colour. Okay, see you, Jacqueline. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Gail. Thank you. Thanks, Margaret. A different sandwich for the non 3D. It says it says so on the base. Oh, I'm not sure about that, Jacqueline. I'll have to check that out. Rhonda likes the blackberry. <laughs> we all like different things, don't we? Thanks, everyone. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm off to have some dinner. I didn't have lunch till quarter to three, so, so I'm not really that hungry. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.